up YouTube? It's your girl Yanni Monet and I'm back again with another video. I know y'all missed me because I missed me. And this is, I guess, the beginning of this video. Um, and uh, y'all, I guess I'm coming on here. You know, y'all have been asking, oh, Yanni, why are you acting this way? What's going on with you and Troy? Y'all got a lot of questions. You know what I'm saying? And I'm finally here to answer them. You know what I'm saying? So in this video, I'm giving y'all, I guess, a sneak peek. But it's not really a sneak peek because I think it's the full episode. I'm not sure. But I want to make this clear. That was not me behind the camera filming. Okay? I was nowhere to be found. I was not there. Um, uh, but yeah. So this is, this is a girl's talk. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't there, but I was obviously there in spirit. Because, yeah. I mean, y'all watch it. This is a long video. It's about 40, 45 minutes worth of footage. Um, and I will say this before y'all get into the video of why I decided to drop it um, before they dropped their, their actual episode. I decided to drop it before they dropped their actual episode because first of all the footage just found me I was doing a little Russian roulette trying to find an SD card and to film my baby shower and I found that so <laughs> um, it, this was my first time watching the video yesterday and so I decided to post it before they post it because you know I wanted y'all to see the raw unedited uncut um, scenario and situation um because i know that you know people try to edit things and make things look different than what they are um so i, d I decided to post it and you know get y'all's opinion and you know this is one of the main reasons um this california trip that he took um was one of the main reasons that me and him had been um you know on the outs and uh yeah, so I did know, kind of knew, that there was a possibility that he was going on this show, and I was very unhappy about it. But y'all can get into watching the video, and then I'm going to get into my opinion on how I felt about everything and how I feel about our relationship moving forward um, after y'all watch this. And yeah, so I'll be back. Very much just what 16? Mm -hmm. 
That is so crazy to me. You were was it the last time I saw your baby mama? You guys were like fully broken up. So how did you end up back together? Like I'm very lost in the sauce. Wait a minute. So that's like wait. So wait. Come on. I've never met you. I said that too. You know what happened? It didn't go too well. But I'm happy. Y'all give me love. I'm just saying. Wait. Wait. Why did y'all break up in the first place? What happened? What happened? I actually don't know. I don't know. Like, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll tell you. Why are you doing good? You and me. Sitting there 
crying. I can handle I put the glasses back on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, but why? why did you have Yanni sitting there crying if you were in love with her? Why don't you just go through that? Because I, okay, I'm so sorry, but I really do feel like you were in love with her. Like, no matter how hard we're trying, and for Yanni's sake, like, I know it's hard. Yeah, I feel like you can be in love with multiple people. And like, no. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, if you're like, yes, but not at one time. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, in your life, yes, no. Yeah, I was going to say, yes. I don't know, I feel like I'm Now or then? Yeah. If we would have yeah. asked you this, like, when we were all together, we would have asked you this when you were with Brooklyn. Would you have said Yanni or would you have said Brooklyn? You would have said me. So, in place. Who's capping? You now or you in the past? I'm saying like right now. That's good. Okay, well, it's not about her right now. She's not sitting in front of us. She wanted to talk on the show. Okay. Right now it's about you and you being a dad, right? So, um, but yeah. Before we get into like the real teen dad talk, I just want to address a few things, right? Um, so you know we beef. I ate your ass up in a fucking diss track. Let's just say that. <laughs> Which your baby mama also is in the diss track. Which that's fine. I wrote the shit. Yeah. It's okay. She ate yeah, she her her too much. Yeah. So um, I like your jewelry. Good, good. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Yourself that I didn't do nothing that bad to you. I mean, 
I feel like we all was doing bad. I ain't gonna well, lie. I we was all doing bad. You know? Oh. I, I don't like to play the blame game. This is just gonna go down and pull up right now. No, it's not. I just feel like we could talk about a So 
it might be a Sagittarius. Oh my God, that's so cool. Me and the baby are going to be a day. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? what? Why do you call yourself that? Because I'm Sagittarius. Oh, that's so cool. Are you Big Daddy of Big Mama? Yeah, I think Big Daddy before Big Mama. Wow. Before the baby, you want Big Daddy? Yeah. Wait. Oh, she's a hustler. Yeah. She got a drive. She got ambitions. 
It's given big dead. Oh. <laughs> say that. Say it. No. <laughs> that was that was for you and me. It wasn't for him. Like right there. But yeah, but it wasn't like directed like, oh, like I didn't say it. like just like Well, you wanna be our big daddy too? Girl, that's your big daddy. No, it's not. I have my I big, have I have big, big daddy. daddy. I got my own big daddy. You got a big daddy. You got a big daddy. What about you? Do you have a big daddy? Yes or no? Sophie got a little daddy. Big daddy. <laughs> no, she don't. She don't. She has a big, she she a big mommy. <laughs>
Who shot you up? Or you can't say that. John. You can't say it. That's Wait, is he in a gang? No. Oh, so who shot you up? That's secret. If he. Sarah, you gotta wear like the street. Like, you can't just stay here and like. He can't fucking stay in the fucking shot. Wait, what would happen? But if that doesn't leave your gang, you can't say who shot you. No. If somebody shot you, you would tell. Never mind. If someone was shooting at me, you would tell. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> you would snitch for sure. Um, snitch? What are, what are you shooting at me for? That's not snitching. You just shot at me. Yeah, what? Oh, gracious. Yes, well, I would. If we get into it and I shoot at you, you uh, Are you kidding? I would lie on Instagram and show you trying to shoot me. I'd be like, this bitch is actually oh. fucking crazy. Good <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he came on the show. Just he did it. on this. I think we. Uh, I appreciate you coming on. You've probably seen like, I actually genuinely said, Sunshine! Bruh, you short as it. Thanks. Didn't grow at all, it's just a... Don't talk to me, don't talk to me. Don't cut that off of you. I'm still lost. No, wait, y'all thought I was being mean. I feel like I was great. I gave him gifts and everything. I'm still lost in the song. I'm like, I'm confused. Bulletproof! I think I got some info though. I was great. You went off. You went off the script just a little bit. It's no script. I know. I know. Good job, guys. It was. I think we. Yeah, we're talking about it now. Do I get talk? Yeah. Okay. You do. Do I look tall when I'm sitting down? Like, do you think I'm gonna talk? Stand up next to me. Look how short. Why would I? Because look how short. Why would I do that? How tall are you? Wait, yeah, can you stand up? Did you get, you get yeah. six three? Six three? When you say you get short, when I said I get tall, you're six three. You're not. 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 you are you 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 Really? Why, how do you think we can't wait to talk to you? Including me? I think I'll bring it in two Um, Aubrey, can you hit the okay so phone just so we can get it? One more time, slap it. Yeah. Hey guys, take your photos real quick. Kurt, get in there. I got it! All right, what is up, y'all? So at this point, y'all just watched that 45 minute long episode. Oh my god, that I know that I pr it probably wasn't gonna be 45 minutes for them. Um, it, they probably were gonna chop it up and edit it, you know, blur out my name say that they weren't talking about me, whatever they were going to do. They probably now, when they do drop it, aren't going to edit it because I said that they were going to edit it heavily, but who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't care. But, um, basically, I guess I'm just coming on here to tell y'all how I feel. It's not really a reaction to the video because I'm not really, I'm not really, uh, reacting to the video. I watched the video. Um, I actually found, like I said, I found it, uh, the other day. Um, and like, like I said, I think I said this in the beginning, the reason why I'm even posting it is because, um, I think that there are a lot of unquestioned unanswered questions for our fans and um, when it comes to me because I haven't been making my presence felt on social media or even stating my opinion on certain things because I just haven't honestly you know I I've honestly just been trying to keep peace um, for myself and I and have lack of drama because you know I have a whole you know human in there and I feel like it's unfair to her if I'm constantly upset and things like that so it's it's like I'm just trying to um, always stay calm um, and I know how I get when I be having drama and beef you know what I'm saying I be I be going <laughs> so I've been trying to stay away from that uh, for myself and from you know Tori um, but, you know, me posting this, I just wanted y'all to understand, like, I am not acting funny for no reason. I'm not acting funny for no reason. There's never, um, there's never not a reason for something I do. I'm never just doing things purposely and, and out of just know what like i'm not i'm not doing that you know what i'm saying i might not get on here and and explain to y'all every detail of why i'm doing something but i'm doing it for a reason does that make sense so yeah but when it comes to us like you know breaking up whatever because we were broken up sure 
Anyway, when it comes to us breaking up, it, it and, and us, I guess, having a lack of videos now together, it wasn't because um, I was just mad that they ran into each other. Nigga, are y'all, come on now, that they ran into each other? I'm not. Come on, be be fucking for real. Like y'all be real. Like there, I've read comments where people have the common sense that God gave them and makes them understand. We know that y'all did not just run into each other all of a sudden in fucking California. Point blank, period. We know that. We we all know that. You know what I'm saying? So there were obviously a whole bunch of conversations behind the scenes about you know him going on this trip, and you know I was actually supposed to go on the trip with him but and I guess that's a whole separate you know that's a whole separate thing that I really don't want to get into but I really I wasn't going point blank period and um as you can hear her say a few times in the episode oh well somebody else was supposed to be here but since she did you know what I'm saying I I was supposed to I was supposed to I guess he signed me up to do it but I wasn't finna to do it you know what I'm saying? I wasn't. Is I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm lack of drama, lack of lack of all of that for my own mental health and for my own baby. Like it was, I was good off of that. Um, and then I had found out some other stuff, so I really couldn't fly um, at all. So I was good. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> we were already arguing about him even going. Uh, on this trip so there was that and um, I I had already figured that the context of this video what would what it kind of would have been about I already kind of figured the context out um, and the thing is is that I think I was so bamboozled when watching it because I had just had a conversation with her so it kind of bamboozled me even the way that she was still talking about me and I'm going to give more context into the into what our conversation was and the reason that it bamboozled me how she continuously talked about me in this girl's talk and I know y'all are going to say oh bitch she don't owe you no loyalty da 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 what about what you did with her ex Once again, I did not do anything with her ex, okay? Let's keep making that clear, okay? I'm not going to go back into detail about what happened because I'm not going to keep reliving that for myself, okay? The police knows what happened. The report was done. So I, play, I played and I did my part, okay? You know, y'all get on here every day. Well, bitch, why you ain't go to the police? I went to the police, okay? We're not, we not doing that for the, uh, you know, second time. Not going to the police, okay? So, yeah. And, and y'all can stop sitting here saying I say everybody do this, that, and the third to me. Because I've only gotten on here one other time besides this time to talk about anything that has happened to me. Okay, so y'all can stop the lies that y'all tell in the comments. Talk about, she said 13 niggas did this, that, and the third to her. No, the fuck I did not. No, I didn't. Get your facts straight, babes. And then if you're gonna, if you're gonna go off the story, learn the story before you just start telling the story. Okay? But yeah, me and her had a conversation. Because Troy wanted her to come for the gender reveal and or the baby shower y'all remember a long time ago we went viral for that gender reveal he wanted to basically probably recreate that type of content you know what i'm saying he's a content creator he wanted to recreate that content i didn't want to be a part of it you know what i'm saying i felt like the the feelings that I have and emotions that I have for me and her situation because it was a, a real friendship that went very sour really quickly um the feelings that I had about that 
I was not willing to, first of all, even have a conversation fully about it. You know what I'm saying? Less long really be in her face for such a special moment. You get what I'm saying? I really didn't want to do that. And, you know, that's okay. That's me having boundaries. That's fine. Um, but anyway, me and her ended up talking about that and agreeing upon her not coming to the gender reveal. Okay. And, um, so she ended up, you know, we're talking about everything. I feel like there were apologies in place. Um, we talked about, you know, the situation with the ex and her, you know, saying, you know, I never didn't believe you. It was just, you know, she felt like she was in a rock and a hard place. She kind of, you know, anyway, I'm sure she has a recording of the conversation. I'm sure it'll be posted after this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I felt like in the conversation, I felt like we got somewhere. We both agreed that we wouldn't keep continuously going on the internet and bashing each other and sneak dissing and things like that. I genuinely run away from questions or, or saying things about her because like I've said fully in the past, before she came out always saying things and sneak dissing me and subliminalizing me, whatever, I just came up with a fucking word. Before she, you know, kept doing, I said, our friendship to me was real. I cared about her deeply. Why would I just all of a sudden be able to turn and be like, F this bitch. Like, I'm fit to talk all types of shit. No. I was hurt about our situation because it was like, damn, I had already, you know, just had lost a friend. You know, you was with me with the healing process of my other friend and me stopped being friends. And you seen how that, you know, how that affected me. And then you do, you just say, fuck it, I'm, I'm finna do the same shit at this like oh okay <laughs> all right what the fuck oh, it, it caught me off guard hold on all right sorry y'all i had to put the uh camera on the track but yeah so it had caught me it had caught me you know off guard that our friendship had ended the way that it ended but anyway so you know especially when me and her had had conversations behind the scenes but i won't get into all of that because that's not what we're here for today um, but what I will say is, so after, you know, having that conversation with her on the phone and me feeling like we were getting somewhere and we were both being very mature about the situation and, you know, I'm thinking, okay, we're, we're having, um, we're having a really good understanding of each other and each other's feelings. So I'm like, you know, that's fine. You know you don't have to worry about me getting on the internet saying that the crazy because I haven't been doing that this whole time. Like, you know, except for when I, you know, I would see stuff and I would get really heated and I'd go live and I'd be like, bitch, just, just, bitch, I'm going to say this. But I never say it. You know why I never say it? Because why are we continuously hurting each other over internet shit? And we're taking real things in each other's lives and weaponizing them against each other. I, I, as the person that I am, I'm sick of doing that. I'm sick of using real life things and weaponizing them and, and using them to stab somebody in the back for, for clicks and views. I, I just cannot, I cannot keep continuously bringing myself to do that. Other people, they can do that so easily, and as I, I, I'm just not having that understanding of how, as influencers, we ain't influencing shit, but being fucking evil to each other. That don't make no fucking sense to me. It doesn't make any sense. So, especially when it comes down to, you're really in these people's face. F the camera. Once the camera goes out... We really be in each other's face. We really be making friendships and connections outside of this camera. And for us to continuously use private things that, that 
each other does as a community, as a collective, and us as people that we do or things that we find out about our friends. Oh, your family this. Oh, you're. Oh, you slept with this person. Oh, you did that. Using that stuff to tear somebody down for the internet and for y'all to watch and for y'all to. We look fucking crazy. It's insane. It's inhumane. I'm not finna keep continuously doing that to somebody. For what? You know what I'm saying? What do I honestly gain? What? Some little money? The money? We, we spend this money like water. What the fuck? I'm not finna keep doing that. That don't make sense. I'm being real with y'all right now. It don't make sense. I'm not gonna do that. So yeah. So that's why I haven't said nothing. Because I, I, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I've I've gone through that phase where it's like, oh, I'm be, we're all just ruthless and saying evil shit. We've, I'm good. I don't want to do that. For what? It's stressful. It, it's stressful. I, I, I'm pregnant. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Like, what? So I'm thinking in our conversation, we're having good conversation and we're getting somewhere. And we're both having an understanding. It, it, you know, we, we just going to move forward and be, it be cool. And not, not talk bad about each other. Should we might, we might do a, a, we sit down video one of these days, but it won't be at my gender reveal. You get what I'm saying? It won't be at my baby shower. It won't be at a, no important event. You get what I'm saying? So that's where I thought we were, we were at. We had an understanding. We were cool. We were cool. We were not going to bash each other. We're not going to do that. We're not. So you can understand why I was caught by surprise when I watched, when I watched this. I'm like, oh, so we're, we're still doing that. Then it makes me think, oh, the Yonvons, they always talk about, oh, she's sending this subliminal. She's sending this subliminal. I'm like, she, no, nah, no. You know what I'm saying? No, I, she got other shit to worry about. She probably talking about some other nigga and his bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, she not talking about me. You know, or she not continue. It's been a year. Like, you know what I'm saying? We've already talked like, no, no. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? After watching that, y'all bonds. Y'all might be on to something. Y'all, y'all don't play. Y'all gets down. Y'all, y'all got intuition. Y'all might be right. I'm sorry for underestimating y'all. Y'all was right. I'm thinking y'all was right. It ain't just a TikTok. Bitch, it's about you, Yanni. She just ain't saying that name. But they surely said it a hundred times in that, in that girl's talk. And that was crazy. I didn't expect that. Especially since I was not there to defend myself in say certain things you know what i'm saying and then that made me think too okay if i would have went out there and i would have did this girl's talk y'all do realize at that time i was like a seven i was like seven months pregnant um y'all do realize y'all would be over here like talking to a seven month pregnant person so y'all were just gonna be sneak this and talking about how uh Oh, she, oh, she be popping it, or oh, y'all, uh, oh, yeah, she be do, 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 oh, she be, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? So that's how y'all was gonna, that was how y'all was gonna go about this situation. That's insane. I have, I mean, I don't know. But like I said, I'm not looking for any sympathy or anything because I hold myself accountable for. And I'm holding everybody, I'm holding all three of us accountable. I'm hold, But I'm really holding myself accountable. I'm holding myself accountable for even putting myself in this situation. For this to even have occurred. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes I just got to laugh at myself and keep it pushing. I look in the mirror, I said, damn, you took it L. But it wasn't a loss, it was a lesson. Okay? It was a lesson and that's all, that's all I could do is think about it like that. All I can think about is, baby girl, me and Troy, we have no choice but to be in each other's face for 18 years. You know what I'm saying? Um, we have a child together. You know? So, it's, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not even mad, but I guess I wanted to post this so y'all could see, like, why I've been acting the way I've been acting and for y'all to know that I don't think that my fan pages are delusional at all 
it's I, I don't think that they are no I think that they're right so I think that we as people need to stop doing this shit this is literally so weird we need to stop bashing each other and talking shit about each other for money views purposes especially when we're having conversations behind the scenes and we're talking to each other and it's totally different energy than what's being portrayed on social media that's weird i don't know what the fuck they got going on them two i don't know what they got going on but i can read body language you know what i'm saying um If y'all want each other, y'all can have each other. And like the situation, um, Troy is mad about our baby shower. He felt like I, he said, if we're inviting exes, I had no ex at our baby shower. But if you're talking about your sister's longtime boyfriend and that whole situation and what happened in the past three years ago now, versus this i don't know i don't know i really don't care i like i said i really don't care i'm not trying to argue with nobody um i'm not looking for no sympathy i'm not the victim i don't give a fuck about none of this shit all i'm saying is i'm giving y'all the reason why i've been acting the way i've been acting since y'all keep wanting to make it seem like i'm just some terrible ass bitch who's treating this boy crazy for no reason and i'm not treating i'm not even treating him crazy half them videos we not even gonna get into it but i'm not even treating that boy crazy no what but i did stop doing videos with him and he's really upset about that so yeah but i stopped and i decided that i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna start focusing on my own channel because um i've neglected y'all and i feel bad for that but it's always gonna be all love for me to him as for her um as for her i just feel like i i can't keep going with the we're cool then we're not cool fake talking thinking we're getting somewhere and it's just you know i i don't really i don't have to deal with that i don't have any ties to you um yeah but uh yeah i don't know and i don't like the funny jokes about you know the stepmom shit i really don't find that funny um especially when it when you over there being tt to my niece i don't damn you want my firstborn too what the fuck you want the whole family? I got more nieces and nephews in the back. Shit, I, I'm not finna keep up. No. But yeah, man, this is the end of the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I can't wait to hear y'all's opinions. I know it's gonna be. Well, bitch, this is what you get. He's a child. This is what you get. This is what you get. Bitch, I'm saying I'm laughing at myself too. The fuck? Y'all act like y'all ain't never. Y'all ain't never. Come on now, I'm laughing at myself too. I'm laughing too. Ha 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 ha. It's funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's funny. It's hilarious. But I also wanted to say, Camera, you good? What's that? Were y'all together then? Cause I come, I break up with my bitch. You know what I'm saying? She was, she was over there talking about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know now. You know what I'm saying? But young ladies, y'all don't have to overly sexualize yourselves. Learn that right now. Um, for all my young girl fans, you do not have to overly sexualize yourself to get a man or or to keep a man or to do none of that, baby. Uh, be yourself, love yourself, and that's it. That's all that matters. And don't argue or fight over no man. I learned that over no boy, over no nothing. I don't care over no girlfriend, over no none of that. Don't argue about, <sighs> baby, you're the prize. You're beautiful. You do you. Okay? All right. 
Your girl is out. Bye.